guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my February and kind of just general favourites. I haven't done a favourites video since November and before that it was like well before July last year that I'd done a favourites. So I really haven't done many and I have quite a few things to share with you guys that I have been just loving over the last sort of general six to eight month period I guess. Pretty sure I'm not including anything I've mentioned before though so I'm gonna jump in and show you guys my favourites. So the first product is a rediscovery. I had run out of this for, I don't know, probably over a year and forgotten how good it was until I recently was sent it and that is the Benefit Professional. This is incredible for filling in your pores and just making your skin look completely smooth pretty much like it just smooths everything out and makes you look like you have absolutely perfected skin without anything on it so it's basically a balm yeah it just says it's a pro balm to minimize the appearance of pores this has been around for a long long time so they haven't done anything to this benefit did release like new kind of professional things in their range I'm still trying some of those things out and I am loving them but I'm still you know getting into them. I definitely wanted to mention this because I've been using it like crazy and yeah if you haven't tried this and you have enlarged pores or you just have like bumpy skin in general I would definitely recommend this to try out. The next thing I have is from Tarte and it's their Tartist Pro Glow Palette. You guys probably have seen this if you've been watching like my recent makeup tutorials. This is what the inside looks like. As you can see, this looks really beaten up. I love this palette so, so, so much. I've got on this shade Stunner, which is the highlight on the tops of my cheekbones today with something else underneath that I am going to show you guys later. I'm in love with this highlight for when I'm more tanned and this one for when I'm a bit more pale. These two I like as well, but they, this one's a little bit too dark for me. I also have on the cream contour shade today, which is one of my favourite cream contours of all time. It's the perfect colour, it's the perfect consistency, blends out so easily, and I also love the powder contour shade as well. Just in love with this palette. It smells like brown sugar or something. I don't really know. It smells like vanilla-y. Vanilla-y, sugary goodness. All of Tarte's products smell amazing and they're probably one of my favourite brands to be honest. I cannot fault them. Everything I've tried I have loved so I would definitely recommend picking this up. And I do know they have a mini one of this which has got I think three shades in it so if you didn't want to get the full one definitely have a look into the mini one. I think it's the Pro Glow To Go. So yes I love this palette so much much. Another palette I have to share with you guys, which I was I was sure I sh showed this in my November favourites, but I didn't and I'm surprised, like really surprised. It's the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette and Kathleen's literally my favourite YouTuber and she has been for probably like three years. I l just cannot love her more. She is so committed and so dedicated to her YouTube and I just think she seems like such a good person. She has a good heart. Um, so I buy all of her collabs no matter what it is. I have all of her Colourpop things pretty much I think but whenever she comes out with something new I'm going to be there to buy it. This cost me $70.00 when it's a $15 palette but the shipping ended up being I think around $50 which was absolutely crazy but to be honest it was so worth it. This palette is literally my go-to. I use this almost every single day as you can probably tell by the state it's in. It's what's on my eyes today and there is a tutorial coming on this um, if it's not up already. But yeah the pigmentation of these colours is just incredible hopefully you guys can see that green on the end of my finger honestly cannot fault this palette at all so i'm pretty sure this palette is still available i will link it down below if it is and if it isn't then i'm very sorry for mentioning it but maybe you can try and search for it on the internet i'm hoping that it is still in stock though 
and yeah it is limited edition though so if it is in stock and you want it and get it because I don't think it's coming back and I love this I'm so tempted to get another one <laughs> next up I have some brushes so the first one is a brush from NYX I got it from the Priceline prescription live event that I went to in February so it looks like this it's just a pretty much a powder brush so it's quite thick and dense but it's kind of squished so it I don't know it's skinnier it's not a big round powder brush so I'm guessing it's a NYX 02 brush whatever that is but I've been using it for powder contouring because it's got that sort of skinnier shape and it just fits in the hollows of your cheeks but it also blends everything out and gives you kind of like a nice bronzy look at the same time and it's super soft feels amazing and I'm assuming it's pretty affordable considering that it is a drugstore brand so yeah I would highly recommend this NYX brush I'll try and find it and link it down below for you guys as with everything else and then the next brush is a brush from Sigma which is pretty much my favorite brush brand of all time it's the Sigma small contour f05 brush this one is the copper version I do have the just normal silver one as well but this is my all-time favorite contouring brush I love this so much it's just the perfect size to give you a nice chiseled look I did use it today for my bronzer to get nice looking cheekbones the most amazing contouring brush so if you are on the hunt for a new contour brush this is the one that I would recommend definitely and I do have a link with Sigma and a discount code so if you guys are interested in anything from Sigma you can use my code and get I believe it's 10% off but I will link it down below as I've said a million times before. The next favourites are some brow products and again I thought I'd mentioned these in a previous video but I hadn't. Um, these brow products I've been using for ages now. First one is the Benefit, well they're both from Benefit but this one is the Cabrow. So it's basically like a pomade which is my favourite formula to fill in my brows. I have come to realise so the lid comes off like this. I love the lid on this. I love all the packaging of this whole collection. And you get your little pot with your product. I'm in the shade 3. And it's what I use to fill in my brows today. And you also get a little brush inbuilt into the lid. So it's so handy for travelling. I have used the brush a million times before. And I don't know what it is. I love how long lasting this is. I love how creamy it stayed. Um, and yeah, it just hasn't done me wrong and I love it. And then the other brow product from Benefit that I've been loving is the Browsing. So this is a wax and powder duo. It does come with a little like foldable brush and a little tweezer in here, but I've taken them out because it just is easier. So the packaging is again this beautiful silver packaging. It's got a little knob kind of thing on the end to open it. Um, and again, I'm in the shade 3, so I use the wax sometimes when I have dry skin and I just want the powder to stick better or when I'm just using powder in my brows, which isn't that often, but I will use the wax and then dip in with the powder and go over the top. But for the most part, I fill my brows in with the pomade um, first, the Cabrow, and then I go in with the powder and pretty much just set them and makes them look a little bit fluffier and like there's more hair there. So those two products from Benefit are my all-time favorite brow products. This next product I used almost every day when I was putting makeup on the last couple of weeks um, because I hadn't been fake tanning and it is the Astralis Match Maker Shade Adjusting Drops in the Lightning Shade. So it's pretty much just white liquid that comes in a little dropper form like so. I believe the Body Shop has this product, well this kind of product as well. can't really think of any other brands that do it, but I know there are other brands, but I've been loving this. It doesn't affect the foundation that you mix it into, it just pretty much lightens it, does its job, and it's so handy when you, you know, don't have that many foundations, or if you're really really pale and even the palest of foundations don't seem to match you you can just mix in a few drops of this 
and custom create your own shades. So I've been loving these and they're so affordable too. Next up, I've got a highlight. This is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. You guys have seen this before. I've posted about it on Instagram and I've used it in tutorials. It is such a gorgeous highlight. I really, really love this highlight. It's super pigmented and creamy. It's kind of like you have to get the top layer off to see how fully creamy and pigmented that it actually is. I'll do a little swatch. So hopefully that is clear. I can never see properly because I'm just looking into my tiny little screen. But it's so pigmented and so beautiful. You barely need anything. And I always get complimented when I wear this or when I've got it on in a photo or anything like that. So yeah, I love, love, love this color and this product. The last makeup product I've got is kind of a cheat because I have only used it like three times, I think. But so far, I'm in love with it. So I just wanted to mention it and show you guys. It's the Pure Cosmetics Strobe Kit. Yeah, Strobe Highlight Palette. And it's in the shade Sunkist. Sunkist. Sunkissed Glow. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is so sleek and beautiful. And then you open it, it's got a mirror and it's got three creamy highlights. So they're like a cream to powder finish. So anyone even with oily skin can wear this because it sets to a powder. This is actually what I've got on underneath my highlight today, that Tarte highlight and it just gives you such a nice glow. I've got on this shade up here, which is called Dusk. The other ones are called Aurora and Solar. But yeah, I just wanted to mention this because I couldn't not. I'm loving it so much so far. And then the last like beauty kind of product is this little hair oil from the brand Way. It's spelled O-U-A-I, and I got this little sample from the Sephora event I went to uh, at the end of January, and I am in love with this. I'm definitely going to buy it the full size. It smells amazing, like really, really, really good, and I've just been using this every day, barely used any. But yeah, I've been using it to just put through the ends of my hair. There's not really much else to say about it apart from the fact that it hydrates my hair, makes it look nice and shiny and smell good and that's all I really want from a hair oil. Okay, the next thing is a TV show favourite and it is an oldie but a goodie. I, I watched this TV show, you know, on and off when it was on the TV, like when they're doing replays and that kind of thing, but I never really got into it. But I did ask my boyfriend Matt for the box set for Christmas. And he got it for me and it is friends <laughs> so i watched it start to finish and cried and laughed and became absolutely obsessed with this show it is like m my new favorite tv show i don't know how i never knew how good it was before i honestly just don't know so like i said i watched it start to finish and now i have just started from the beginning again and i only finished i think not even a week ago, but that's how into Friends I am lately. I'm just always watching it, always have it on. Just gives me the biggest laugh and it's such a feel good show. Like you don't have to watch it really hard and get all emotional about it. I mean, there's emotional parts, but for the most part, it's so funny and so good. So if you were like me and you haven't really ever watched it, go and get the box set and watch it from start to finish. You will be obsessed. Okay, and the last thing I have to show you guys is my new fur baby. As many of you guys probably know, I am obsessed with animals. I am a massive animal lover. I'm a massive advocate against animal cruelty, all of that kind of thing. I love them. I just want to save every single animal on the earth. And we did end up saving a baby. We went to the RSPCA every single weekend. And for those of you who aren't from Australia, the RSPCA is a rescue organization. It does stand for something, but I 
don't 100% know what. But yeah, they're just a shelter and they just provide a safe place for them and give them the treatment that they need until they can find their forever homes. So we were going every week to try and find the perfect dog for us and we finally found one. He is a six month old American Staffy, or he's basically a pit bull. Um, I don't really know the difference between a pit bull and American Staffy. They are, to me, the same dog. I just know that in Australia, when you say pit bull, people run away. They hate hearing that name, but I hate nothing more than when people judge a dog by its breed. Like. When you see how loving this dog is, you will see what I mean. Like, there's no such thing as a bad dog. There's a bad owner. But anyway, I don't know why I'm spilling all that. He's a six-month-old dog. He is already huge. Um, he is not trained. We need to train him really hard because he is not the best listener. And because he's so big, he will easily knock people over. And he likes to chase the cat, but... She's okay. She's kind of getting used to chasing him back and, you know, getting back at him. But yeah, we're getting there. He is a beautiful dog and we have named him Ollie. So I'm going to bring him in and show you guys. I don't want to show you. I don't want to show you. Oh, goodness. Can you sit on me? So this is the only way I can show you guys Ollie because he's too big to sit on my lap. But this is the new baby. As you can see, he is huge, very playful, just wants to play and jump and bite and lick and all of those things that poppers do. See, show your pretty face, show your pretty face. So yes, this is the new baby and he is obviously one of my favourites for the month of February and June. Okay guys, so that completes my February favourites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed me, my new little baby. Or my new big baby, I should say. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey guys. I mention this because I've used it <laughs> off the shoulder tops, just ah, drive me insane. I just, um, is that you, babe? I'm filming a talking video. The Sigma small contour, contour. Matt, can you just wait two seconds? Yeah.